When you start preparing the land for planting maize, for silage, uh, first thing you have to do is to uh, destroy or sh shred the crop residue. So what is left over from the previous crop. And the easiest way to do that is with a shredder or something that chops the crop residue into smaller pieces. So then when you do the land preparation, the equipment can easily deal with it. The idea of shredding is that we want to keep the nutrients that are still in the crop residue to be available, to be made available in the top layer of the soil where the next crop is going to grow. After shredding, uh, the best way of cultivating the land would be a chisel plough together with rollers behind the chisel plough. The chisel plough will kind of mix the crop residue a little bit with the soil so that uh, composition, uh, decomposition of the crop residue will start and also the chisel plow will loosen up the soil uh, deeper so that with the next season that is coming the rain will be able to penetrate into the soil very easily. That is important. Secondly, also by loosening up the soil you allow air to enter the soil and all the life that is in the soil, bacteria, small worms, they need air as well as moisture to be able to survive. If you don't have a chip chisel plow or you do not like to use a chisel plow, you can use a moldboard plow. So you have done the shredding, that is still advisable because even the moldboard plow when the crop residues of the maize are very long and tall. It is not always e handy for a um, moldboard plow to handle it immediately and to cover the crop residues. So after the shredding, you can use a moldboard plow and the advantage of the moldboard plow is that it will cover in one activity all the crop residues that are in the field, which means that with one activity, one time going into the field and ploughing, you have the land ready for seedbed preparation. So this type of equipment, when used year after year, really will reduce the amount of diesel that you will need to prepare your land for planting. Once the soil is ready and the crop residue has been incorporated with the soil, um, closer to uh, planting time, you would probably try to make a, a seedbed preparation, make the soil fine in a fine tilt that uh, allows the planter to, to enter the field. And with ease, you could use the planter without any crop residues anymore disrupting or um, making the situation difficult for the machinery to be able to drop the seeds equally and also the fertilizer in the correct way. You want to plant the maize when the soil is already moist so that germination will, will happen within four days. I would prefer to start planting when the soil is a little bit wet. Alternatively, but definitely it would not be advisable to do all your acreage in that way, is to uh, do dry planting. So when the soil is very dry, there should not be any moisture in the soil. You could plant a little bit deeper and uh, plant when, when the soil is still very dry and then wait for the rains to come. And as soon as the rains will come, the crop should uh, germinate. Um, as long as the seed is in the soil and the soil is very dry, nothing will happen because there, it needs moisture for the seed to germinate. So that would be dry planting. The advantage of dry planting, there is an advantage, and that would be that the yield is normally slightly higher than if you wait until the soil is uh, completely wet. Because basically the soil is very warm when dry planting. As soon as the moisture comes, the rain comes, uh, the, the plant will really develop 
grow very fast. Thank you.